Welcome to This Week at Minnesota. Three big grants to boost early childhood education are coming to Minnesota. Race to the Top, Promise Neighborhoods, and Investing in Innovation, or I3. Together, they total $88 million over five years, the first serious increase in government spending on early education in Minnesota since the 1990s. The University of Minnesota's College of Education and Human Development is the recipient of one and key to landing all three. When Mousy was brought to the University of Minnesota's Veterinary Medical Center in October 2011, his prospects were grim. The six-year-old cat was suffering from fainting spells due to a rare and potentially deadly condition known as intermittent third-degree atrioventricular blockages. His only chance for survival? To become one of Minnesota's first cats to receive a pacemaker. Mousy's procedure at the U of M Vet Med Center wasn't the nation's first, but it was rare and consistent with the center's mission, improving the health of animals and people in Minnesota by providing state-of-the-art specialty veterinary care. The new Golden Gopher football jerseys were unveiled this week. The Gophers will have eight different uniform combinations to choose from, which they will begin wearing this fall. The new look utilizes many aspects of past Gopher jerseys in an attempt to blend both old and new traditions. That's This Week at Minnesota. Connect with us on Twitter and let us know what you'd like to see next week on This Week. <laughs>